So as you come to our apartment, um, you'll see our massive garden, our gardening area, patio, relaxing lounge place uh, where we drink our morning coffee. We turned it into a balcony yeah. during the weekend. Nobody else really has anything. One neighbor has uh, a couple potted plants, but we've really taken the space. And so this is our garden? Yep. So over here we've got some uh, seeds that we started, lettuce seeds, and we'll just wait for those to get a little bit stronger, get a bigger root base, and then we'll plant them over here. I'll show you that after. So this is shipped all the way in from Canada because I could not, for the life of me, find any dill, any fresh dill or dried dill in the supermarkets or in the garden centers or seeds. So, Mom sent us some dill. I do have to say, I was surprised. It took a long time to grow. Yeah, this is two and a half months worth. Yeah, like, that was one of the first things we planted. Yeah, and it's just starting to come up now. Yeah. But it's growing really good. We've used it once already. Yeah, it's delicious. So this is our salad yes. mix. So on this side, we've got uh, just different pepper plants that... Um, we started from seed. Yeah, we started them from seed, just like over here. And uh, we've got some romaine greens and some other know. green. <laughs> and this, this is Japanese. If you can read, these are like beet nuts. Yeah. If you can read that, that's what they are. Swiss chard. Is Swiss that? chard. Yeah. That's good then. <coughs> so these are our micro greens. We've made a few salads already. Yep. Um, here is our celery, which we got really well. maybe two weeks ago, a week, two weeks uh, ago. Two weeks ago, yeah. maybe three weeks ago, yeah. and then one random carrot for, <laughs> I don't know why, yeah. <laughs> it's growing, but it's growing, so trying. we're going to let it keep growing. <laughs> yeah. um, here is our, our bug catcher. <laughs> our live fly trap. Yeah, it creates a, I think like a sweet something, and the bugs are attracted to it, and then it wraps itself around them and kills them, which is pretty sweet. Uh, it's looking very healthy, so I think it's getting well fed. <laughs> <coughs> and again, a pepper plant from seed yep. that we transplanted into this tiny pot yeah. to give it a chance. And another, this is the best example of our pepper plant from seed. Yeah. And it is growing with a pepper plant that we bought at the store. But this has just exploded. And it's got so many, look at this, little flowers starting yeah. down below. Those Looks will so be nice. nice. And pepper this soup. is a purple pepper plant. Yep. Purple pepper plant. <laughs> so here we have basil. It's yep. really starting to look nice. Another very finicky herb. Yeah. <coughs> and then our oregano and rosemary. And then again, we've tried to put a <laughs> organic fly catcher. And I think it's working. It's, let's hope so. It could be the season oh, is almost it's over. It's yeah, got one in got there. That's got a bug in there. But... We'll see. It could be that the season is over, but we were really attacked by uh, black fly. And these are our wonderfully huge, incredibly awesome tomato uh, potato plants. Yep. So again, we have down here are the pink potatoes, and they have the white flowers. Oh, they're so pretty. Yeah, they are. But they are growing. They are just huge. Yeah. They make our garden look really impressive. And we've had to tie them back yeah. to actually keep the walkway open. <laughs> um, so. Otherwise, they would take it over. So we've put some flowers here just to kind of try and attract pollinators. Yeah. Have more flowers. Um, the potatoes were grown from potatoes, pieces of potatoes yep. that Amy sort of soaked in water. Yeah, and soaked them in water, got some roots going, and then just stuck them in the ground. They're the easiest things to grow. Yeah, and they're really nice. I was surprised at the flowers. Yeah. Okay. So we started these guys from seeds. These are seeds sent from Canada again. Yeah. It's Tiny Tim Tomatoes. So you can see there's three plants in this one little bucket. 
<laughs> we'll see how that goes. Yeah. But flowers are starting yep. on them. And then we have along here four pepper plants bought from the store. And <laughs> in the bucket, you can see pepper plants starting to grow from seed, too. Yeah. These guys take such a long time. Like, we planted these maybe three months ago. And I think it was too cold when we first planted them. Mm. But they've just started to really take off. Uh, this is... <laughs> we had what was supposed to be a pepper plant, and it turned out to be broccoli. <laughs> and it actually looks like it's starting to grow more leaves on the stump, so I might have to try and rip that out with a damaging... Uh, I think plant. it'll create... It'll break down okay. and feed the pepper Anyways, plant. This is our giant... Our pride and joy. Our golden boy. <laughs> the peppers. It's a red pepper. A... Another purple pepper and a yellow pepper. Nice. This one is looking good. They're all looking really good, actually. And then behind you, by the door, this is a spicy red pepper plant, and this is really looking really well. Yeah, it looks beautiful. It has a few flowers on it already. Yeah, and they hang down really low. We bought that at a store. Yeah. Then started but it was quite small. These are our random carrots. <laughs> They've started to grow. I don't think they like the cold because we tried. Oh, look, another one. <laughs> nice. Sweet. We planted the seeds maybe two months ago. Oh, yeah. And there's still really some seeds that are maybe just starting Maybe even more than two now. months ago. It was like when we first started. Yeah. And some seeds are still just starting to uh, germinate. This is my future chamomile tea. Um, and another thing, I sort of neglected it at one point. And, um, we had to replant it. Replant it, yeah. And it took a really long time, extremely long time to grow. Um, now it's growing and there's lots of flower yeah. buds, so hopefully that'll take off. Maybe two and a half months? Yeah. <laughs> this is the insane cilantro. So it was the first thing to come up when we planted it around March inside. Yeah. And it really took off. It liked the <coughs> cold and it started growing right away. Yeah. And so now this has been about three months. Yeah. We've and used we've, it a lot. We've been using it a lot. Today we're going to make some, uh, we're going to buy some tomatoes and make some homemade salsa. So our two tomato plants. Beautiful. They were really, really small. They're taking off. Yeah. So this one is like a vine tomato. Smaller tomato. Let's see an example. Show them the tomato. So this is like a vine that you would buy in the grocery store with the tomatoes. They're all growing very healthily. Yep. We bought these, what, maybe two months ago from the store. Yeah. And then this one will be bigger tomatoes. Yeah. Individual ones. So here, underneath the tomato plants, we have more peppers that we started from seed. And I think I might have to take this guy out to give these two a little bit more room. But yeah. they're, they're really taking off. Here. I transplanted them from the other buckets that had too many peppers in them. And they're really loving their new home. Hmm. Zucchini from seed. Yes. It is going crazy, like creating a huge knot. You can see, not really growing straight. <coughs> Bad zucchini plant. But, it's doing really well. Nothing wrong with a not straight zucchini. No. <laughs> and then this is a zucchini that we bought from the store. We started, it had maybe three leaves. Massive on it. leaves. It is massive now. Yes. We put it in a much larger bucket. So yeah. hopefully that'll help it. We've been fertilizing the hell out of the zucchinis. And, and we're very happy to announce that <laughs> yeah. uh, our first we're expecting <laughs> some zucchinis. We're keeping an eye on it. Yeah. We might try and, if there's no male flowers, we might try and sneak down to 
to our landlord's garden and take a squash flower, a male squash flower, and cross-pollinate it with our female zucchini flower. I've heard that that works. So, so yeah. This is our garden. We obsess over it every single day. <laughs> every single day. <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> I hope you'll enjoy it. All right. Peace.